Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever time of day it is for you. Welcome to the next Honest Review. What do we got today? Ooh, Mika. Mika, Mika, what the? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mika. That's interesting looking. No back bling. Ah, Feels bad, but it's a rare. And it's pretty interesting. Look at the jacket. That pa leather pants. I like the shoes. The shoes are really cool. Nice, different kind of shin guard, too. Pretty sure that's another different character model. I don't recognize that face. Her jacket's really cool. Whatever that canister is on the side of her. Is that like a energy drink? <laughs> energy drink to go. Mika, eh? All right, riding into the future. Mika. Excellent. Excellent. Get in my locker. You are mine now. All right, nice uh, little rare. And uh, we got some jumping jacks. You know what? I'm actually super surprised that just getting a jumping jacks emote now and the game's been out for a long time. That's actually super surprising to me. <laughs> All right, let's get this. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh... Excellent. Oh. Wow. What timing was that? <laughs> Animated squared. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, whoa. This looks really cool. Okay, I approve. I approve. This is really cool. Okay, so the animation is coming from the front of the gun, but... But... But, this looks sick, because it's changing the color twice. That looks really cool. This is probably going to get a 10 out of 10, because it looks friggin' awesome. And I like the colors a lot. Oh, that's really good. All right, well, <laughs> squared. You know it. Excellent. Excellent. Get in my locker now. Yes, please. Yes, please. Right, today, we're going to take a look at the Mika skin in full and I'm gonna review this new squared wrap. So looking at her a little more closely, I haven't really got to play much since yesterday, to be honest. But one thing I do really like about this skin, I like the upper half of the skin, the jacket, the undershirt, uh, even the pants are really nice. I just, I really don't like how the hair looks when you're running around behind the character. Just my preference, you might like it, but the hairstyle, I think the way the hair looks at the front, if that was similar to like the back of the head, if they tied that into the back, it would look so much better. But it's just such a weird haircut to me. Hon, if you watch this, don't cut your hair like this, please. <laughs> please, don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, the front's cool. It's not the back. It's so weird looking to me. I personally... I kind of like the shoes that she has on personally. Some people might not because the tongue on the shoe's really big, but I kind of like them. I think they're pretty neat. They're really big too. Like, show you uh, gliding, you can see. Well, they're really, really chunky shoes as you can see here gliding. The red is nice too. Like we, I don't think we have a lot of full red suits like this. But the, the shirt underneath, this looks so good. I wish I could look at her from the front. There you go. Yeah. I love that shirt. It looks so good. Yeah. Really, really nice. And her face is really nice, too. I like the little blue on the front of her hair. Another thing with this skin too, I don't know what that's supposed to be on the side of her. I don't know if it's supposed to be some kind of grenade or can what the canister is, but I just call it an energy drink. Kind of like looks like she's just got an energy drink she takes around with her. But yeah, she's got, I like her edgy look. She does have a nice edgy look to her. I just wish she'd fix her damn hair, man. She kind of also looks like she could be a character from like Dragon Ball Z in a way. Like maybe like a futuristic Bulma. <laughs> futuristic Balma or something I don't know maybe what do you think I don't know but she does have a nice booty <laughs> she does it's there her pants are pretty cool 
it's a really cool outfit and i really like the undershirt and how it sits on her butt and how it looks from the front it's just a really nice looking undershirt under like the outfit as a whole i think like i said in my fast forward review as well the little accents on the outfit kind of glow a little bit um let's switch it to night just to see i'm curious So it doesn't really glow at night. It's just more noticeable. Like it's a kind of a brighter neonish blue, the accents. Looks really neat though. Kind of like, it almost looks like it glows on some parts of the outfit though, to be honest. Like at the front there. Let's check out this wrap now that it's nighttime. So this is one of those wraps that you'll see here. It doesn't really change too much from nighttime to daytime. Uh, the appearance is very, it's pretty similar. <laughs> but it's a nice, just from this little pre-showcase here. It's a really nice looking wrap. It does look really nice. Alright, pistols. It's gonna take a little bit here because, yeah, it's because of the animation. It goes from the one color to the other color. So to show the whole thing, it's a little... It takes a little while. Looks pretty good though. I do like it. Move slow on some of them. Like it looked like it was moving quicker when I was doing the daytime nighttime. We've already seen the combat when I did daytime nighttime. Here's the pump. Looks nice on the pump. Yeah, really nice. Uh, we already saw the attack as well in the daytime, nighttime, but animation is really good on it. Let's turn that down a little bit. Their drum shotgun looks good. And the new tack. Ooh, it actually looks really nice on the new tack. Looks really, it moves quick on the new tag too, like way quicker than the pistols. That looks really cool. I like it on that one a lot. What about the P90? Looks nice on this too when it separates there, yeah. That looks really good. Drum. And sure enough, it won't go over the barrel where the ammo is. Yeah, it's, that's just the permanent blue. This is pretty nice for a rare wrap. That's all I gotta say. That looks really cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. Really cool. AK. Looks nice. Infantry. Looks nice on that too. Whoops. Didn't mean the L2 spam there, my bad. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah, it looks nice. I gotta, uh, gotta speed this up though. This wrap takes a long time to show because it does two full changes. semi-auto nobody cares about it maybe some people do guess I shouldn't just assume Ooh, whoa that looks really cool on that on the bolt it's really quick on the bolt that looks really cool it's 
Thanks on that. That looks cool. I like it on this, on the minigun. Like, starts off to the sides and comes in. That looks really neat. Rocket launcher! Noise. Noise. Time for vehicles. Hoverboard. Looks nice. Not bad, not bad. Mm, look at that shoe. <laughs> Big shoe. It's cool. All right. Baller. It's not too noticeable in the baller. Obviously, just the chair when you're looking at it from behind. It doesn't really phase away. It just kind of like changes color. Because <laughs> it goes over such a small surface area. This guy here. That looks. I like that. That looks really neat. All right, how about the golf cart? Oh yeah, baby. Looks good. Good, 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 good. Plane. Plane. That looks really cool on the plane. I don't know why, but I like it a lot on the plane. That looks wicked. All right, for the crouching visibility test when you're aiming down sights with Mika, she can see 14 very clearly. The last one is visible all the time, but it's blocked off a little bit by her hair strand in front of her face there. Um, my dog is trying to get my attention. Hi, can I help you? <laughs> but she's got a pretty good visibility score, so I, she gets 15 out of 20. Uh, I think I gave her 14 and a half on the fast forward review, which is pretty accurate. Like 14 and a half, 15, whichever way you look at it. But for the sake of this, I'll give her 15 because you can see that one the whole time. On the standing visibility test, aiming down sights with Mika, uh, she can see, again, 14 clearly. Her big, big old hair there is blocking pretty much four above her. Um, she can almost see the bonus cube in the alleyway beside the, the building there. If it was a little higher, she'd probably see it. Um, and the car collar is blocking one in front of her by her chin. So... Because she can pretty much see the bonus one and she can kind of get a view of the one on top of the blue building. I'll give her 14 and a half. 14 and a half seems fair for the standing visibility test with Mika. We'll jump into the back bling showcase now. I'm going to show again. I did it in my fast forward review, but I'm going to show a bit slower all of my top picked back blings that usually match on a lot of skins. So, so you can see if uh, I feel like these are common ones used by a lot of people. Just to see if you like them as well. Uh, I think she matches with quite a f like a fair bit of back blings. She does have a lot of other colors in her outfit that allows you to tie in some uh, back blings. Like the, for example, for these frozen ones, you got all the blue accents on her that you can tie in. Her hair, of course, is an obvious one. It's like a pink, allows you to tie in pinks. She actually has some purple on her pants that you can tie in some, you know, more purple back blings with. Like this one looks really nice, the cuddle styles. This one's a little bit too much of a blue. This one doesn't look horrible, but it's not my favorite. This is okay, but it's not my favorite. I like Kevin a lot too. I think the green looks nice with the pink and purple and, and red. But I think the best one is probably the, the cuddle one or the black one. Wolfpack's always a nice choice. So yeah, after I go through these top ones here, I have, I think, a handful. I like this a lot. I have a handful. I think maybe around 20 or so that I picked out that aren't in my top favorited ones that are, you know, not as frequently used that look decent on her. That I will show quickly after this. 
Yeah, I'm like, I'm really tired lately. I don't know, don't know why, but as soon as like it gets later in the day now, I start to get really tired. I, I had to work last night, all night, and I was, it was hard. I was having a hard time staying awake, finishing my work last night, man, let me tell you. It was tricky. Oh yeah, the tiger. I might leave that up at the top for me just because I love that back bling. <laughs> I still haven't posted that review. I pretty much have it all done. I just never posted it. It's too too much going on, man. But my uh, I was waiting on the motherboard for my new PC that I'm building. But the model above, the one I bought, or backordered rather, it came in stock. So I swapped my order to the one that the the more expensive one and now it's being shipped So oh, I didn't change the color of that obviously you wouldn't use orange <laughs> obviously But that cape could look good with another color But yeah, I'll have that uh, Hopefully the motherboard will come in soon. That looks nice I'm hoping by this weekend so I can build it over the weekend. Ooh, I like that it matches in nicely but if it doesn't and I'll have to build it next week, and then uh, I'll get to play with that, and should make this editing a lot quicker. It'd be nice. Ah, that's a great back bling from that other skin. All right, enough with the chatter. Let's get into the extra ones. I'll show you quickly now. Brat bag. This is probably not owned by a lot of people, but it looks decent. Malice Wings. I was actually rocking this skin a little bit earlier using this back bling and I liked it. Looks pretty decent. Retribution with the red edit style. The red ties in nicely and you can get away with that blue as well. Six string. This is probably my favorite combo with her with the pink and the blue. I rocked this uh, earlier as well. Spider Shield looks really good with her. Widow's Pack looks really good. It's got the red, black, and that blue color to tie in. Board Bag looks good. It's got the pink and the blue to tie in with the black backpack. Looks nice. And even a little, there's a little red thing on there too, you can see. A little red pin. Ties in nice. Gaze. This one's creepy, but it looks really good. Go Bag Red Edit Style. This one looks nice. Lunar Light looks decent. Frenzy looks not bad. Snow Star looks really good. I kind of liked the vibe that Scarlet Edge gave. Not bad. In a very weird, strange way, Trusty Tusks. I don't know why, but something about it. I like the Crystal Llama in Diamond edit style looks good. Could use the red as well. Just a lot of red, that's all. Floral shell looks good. Hexed looks pretty good. I don't use this one a lot, so road flare. I thought it looks pretty good, fits the uh, edge vibe. Sight sling pulls in some of that blue color a little bit more. Doesn't look bad. Signal hub fits on her back really nicely. Scully Satchel Heart Edit Style looks really good and fits on her back nicely. Techy matches her hair color, kind of, sort of. Looks good. And Buckled, this also fits on her back really nicely. For the rating on Mika, my usual ratings, not the fast forward rating. So, my fast forward review yesterday, she got an 8 on my fast forward topics. Uh, let's see what she gets using my regular review topics. I'm curious, and I haven't done this yet, so I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, she gets two points at the top. She's got no backling, but she's not legendary or epic, so she gets two freebies. Design details, I like it. I think it's a nice design. It's Like I said, the only gripe, the only thing I don't like is the back of her head, but that's not enough for me to not give her a point for design details, because I think it is a really nicely designed skin. And I, like I said, I really like the upper half minus the hair. Like, I like her face in the front. I like, like, right there, how she looks right here. I think it looks so good. I like that look so much. It's just as soon as I turn her here, I like this look so much, but from the collar down. 
<laughs> I just don't like that hair. But it's so good. I think everything about this looks fantastic. So, yes. Versatility. Actually, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't bad. I could put a lot on it, and I didn't hate it. And she looks great without a back bling. I think she looks fantastic without one, to be honest. Skin, she does not have any effects or edit styles, though, so I can't give her a point there. Her ADS score was right on the... right there, man. Because she got... it was like between 14.5 and, and 15 on the crouching, and the same on the standing. But I when I averaged it out, she got 14.75, so she was like just short, so I can't give her a point. Because her hair is just surprisingly really bulky. Her hair from when you're looking behind and aiming down sights. Her hair blocks it a lot more than a regular skin would have, so can't give her a point. Cost to rarity, I think that is fair because, yes, she has no back bling or edit styles, but this isn't the first time we've had a rare skin that's been just a skin without any extras on it. That's what they used to always do, and the design is good enough that they couldn't have made this an uncommon because it's really, really cool. Um, and would I favorite this? I think I said I would yesterday, and I still would. I do like this skin a lot. I just It's so different feeling, and I like the vibe it has. I just wish I could give her a haircut. Or hair grow <laughs> on the back. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah. Uh, wow, she gets 8 out of 10 on my regular rating system as well. So 8 out of 10 on the fast forward review, and 8 out of 10 on this review. So that means that my fast forward rating system could be okay it's not out of whack entirely good to know good to know i'm happy about that and the squared wrap now i had already said in the preview that i think this is going to get a 10 out of 10 and i feel the same still it's really good good design I know I harp on a lot of weapon wraps for having animation that comes from the front, which this one has, but this one is different in the sense that it goes down the entire gun and it changes the color to a different total color and then it goes back and changes the color back again. So it's different in that sense, so I do like that, so it is original. Details are great, effects are great super versatile because it's all black at one point which is going to look good on everything it looked good on vehicles and weapons the gameplay visual was very nice it didn't really change much from daytime or nighttime as we saw i personally liked it more in the daytime because you could see the details in the teal color more you could see the squares a bit better i found but um yeah cost of rarity yeah that's great uh, rare 500 v bucks for this it's like almost looks better than some of the epic ones do so yeah i think it's great and i would favorite this because i like the colors of it i like the colors a lot the black and the teal i love those colors and they look really good together um this is gonna look really good with the vector skin 10 out of 10 for the rat man 10 out of 10 but the skin i'm thinking about let me just hide this here this the vector skin it's gonna look really good with this guy i think because he's got the black and the teal in him. That wrap is going to look wicked with this skin. I'm excited because I like this skin a lot too. I know it, this skin has his own wrap that matches him. But this one's going to look really good with him too. And that's going to be sick. I'm excited to try that out. Uh, but yeah guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much uh, for coming by and checking out the complete honest review for Mika. With the squared wrap included. Uh, PSA Enigma, I just saw it flash by. It's in the shop today. This wrap is probably one of my favorite wraps in the game. It is a super good wrap for 500 V-Bucks. It looks so incredibly good. So, just saying that, that and the squared are both great wraps. This one is really cool too. So, I, I don't know, and Vision. Vision's in the shop too, and this is a really popular pickaxe. It's really cool. It's got a nice sound to it. It's really meaty when you swing it. I know that the impact was a little kind of depressing there, but it sounds meaty until, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, thank you very much for coming by. 
Um, I don't know when I'm going to be building my new PC, but when I do build it, I'll probably be a little delayed for a bit as I get everything transferred over and set up on my new computer. Um, but then things should just be up from there and better and better because that computer is going to be a beast. I've had a couple of people say that they want me to see the uh, build of the computer, so I'll debate trying to get a video of that um, when I start building it. It'll be short. I'll just shorten it up. Um, but yeah, anyhow guys, thank you for coming by, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.